Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Behind the Beacon. I'm your host, Haley Dutton. It's not often that two teams inside the same conference come into a matchup, both being nationally ranked. But that'll be the case this weekend as number 10, UMass Boston, and number 7, Babson College, will meet for the seventh consecutive time, both being nationally ranked. With the two teams only being 20 minutes apart, we decided to take a deeper look inside the intense ECAC East rivalry. Uh, Babson is always one of our fiercest competitors. We've It's been kind of pushed down from my freshman year, the seniors lost to Babson in the ECAC's final game. And it's been, ever since then, it's been kind of instilled that the Babson weekend is our rivalry weekend. It's our home, it's our travel partner team. We, uh, we want to take four points out of the weekend just to prove that, I mean, it proves, it helps prove to our conference that we are, we're legit. I mean, we didn't get, we got one or two votes at the beginning of the year for, to finish in first. Babson and Norwich are always the two that are always going to get those votes. And if we can get a sweep this weekend, it pushes us ahead and just for next year and even going into playoffs, if we can secure that second seed or that first seed even, we can really do some damage in the playoffs. Yeah, no, it's a it's it's a huge weekend, um, but you know it, it's every game in our league is just as important. So uh, because it's Babson, and yeah, you know they they have had our number uh, last year. Certainly, uh, they swept us three times, so there's a bit of revenge factor there. Um, but it, it's it's another important game and. The opponent uh, is an opponent that has knocked us out of the playoffs a couple times. I think our guys know that. So, they, you know, um, maybe they're hungrier, uh, but they should really be hungry for every league opponent. So uh, it, it probably means a little bit more. I know it's been circled on the calendar for quite some time for these guys. And, uh, um you know, it, yeah, it's a true test to see, uh, you know, what we're made out, out of and, and how we respond uh, um, to them. Yeah, I mean, I obviously it's uh, very competitive. I think we're two of the top teams um, in the league, you know. Um, playing them three times last year obviously adds to that. Uh, obviously frustration at the end of the year. But, uh, yeah, guys can definitely tell that um, things kick up a little bit when uh, we get into that uh, – home and home weekend and uh, it matters. I think it's important to take uh, take that experience but also realize it's a new year. Um, a lot of things change over the course of the year. Uh, going into this weekend I think we're confident. Uh, we know we have the ability, we know we have the uh, team structure. Now it's just uh, time to take it out on the ice and do it. After Norwich, St. Mike's we really came together as a team. We uh, won in overtime, came back from two deficits to tie it back up and win it. And then Wentworth, we played fairly well. And then going into NEC, which was probably our best game that we've played all year, it was, it's been really like a, just showing our team, our team discipline and our team camaraderie and our team, our team, our team's mental toughness. We've uh, really focused on becoming more mentally strong, being in the right spots, making the right plays at the right times, which is what it's starting to seem like we're going to stride right before Babson, which is really important. I, I like it, and I think the guys like it too. And and uh, it, it's kind of a neat, uh, you know, when you play home and home. Uh, there's there's a little bit of bad blood uh, that that can kind of carry over. Uh, and it's you know who's going to be disciplined and who's going to stay focused and and who's going to stay at the task at hand. So um, you know it, when you play a team back to back like that, it, it can uh, it, it, spirits can get a little bit. Uh, you know, uh, a little bit more feisty, uh, but you know we've got to realize that and make sure we're using that to our advantage and, and not a disadvantage and 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 being undisciplined. And I know we've talked about that an awful a lot. They they're a very disciplined team, and we have to we have to be uh, you know more disciplined than them. We need to get them the puck. We need to make sure we're strong in our positions and not because Babson's a very opportunistic team you're not they're, they're not going to get many chances but when they do they score on a lot of them so we need to uh we need to really focus on positioning picking up sticks in front blocking shots getting the pucks to our forwards and letting them have giving them confidence to let them know that we think know that they can score because they've shown it in the past the Beacons will play Babson Friday and Saturday as UMass Boston aims to break their five game winless streak against the Beavers on Friday night, UMass Boston will travel to Babson Skating Center for a 7 p.m. game 
before returning home Saturday for a 4 p.m. game. Come out and support the men's ice hockey team this weekend. Or if you can't be in attendance, check out beaconathletics.com for live stats and video. Thanks for watching. I'm Haley Dutton.